So in my last kiddo comparison video, somebody left this comment. What about a kiddo versus Ken? So you know me. Always gotta please the audience, right? So here goes. Canva versus Kittle. But not just Canva versus Kittle. Canva versus Kittle for t-shirt design. Let's go. T-shirt help dress. All right, guys. Gary here. And let's face it. Canva has become a staple. Literally, millions of people use this service every month. There are so many things you can do with Canva. So let's go under the hood of Canva. You can see that so much can be done here. You have docs, whiteboards, presentations. If you go down underneath, let's go through infographics, photo collage, desktop wallpapers, graphs, book covers, mind maps, magazine covers, Zoom virtual background, calendars, posters, worksheets, reports, comic strips, and it goes on and on and on. All right, guys. Yes, it does all that stuff. But remember this t-shirt help desk. We focus on t-shirts. So all that stuff's great, but how good is it at t-shirt design? Let's go to the videotape. So I didn't see anything t-shirt related, so I went to the search bar and I put in t-shirts and look at here. So I went down to this one, t-shirt, and I went down and check out some of these templates. Okay, they have some cool stuff here. You can go through and uh, here's the thing about templates. You see something you like, you click on it and then you start working it out. Did you guys notice that t-shirts or t-shirt design was not even up on the menu up there? Did you notice that? I actually had to go find t-shirts. So let's go take a look at Kittle. All right, so now we are under the hood of Kittle. Now here we go, AI, logos, labels, t-shirts, posters, cards, social, Y2K, streetwear, more clothing. Uh, let's go down here and look at some of these templates. But let's go back up. You see what was up here, front and center? T-shirts. Let's hit it. Now, guys, go look at all of these templates. And do you guys see the difference, right? Can you see that? Let, let, me, uh, let's, let me show you. Let me click right here. Do you see the detail? Do, can you see? Can you, can, you, can you see this, right? Uh, let's look at, check out this one and this one. All right, look and how you can manipulate. You could take everything apart and play with it. I mean, guys, you can tell that this, you can tell that this was put together by graphic designers who understand graphic design for apparel. Now let's go back and let's see the difference. So let's go back and let's look at Canva. Now you can see guys, these are not bad at all. These are cool. But they're really, I don't know, they're, they're okay, but it's just kind of flat. There's just a level of dimension that, to me, the Canva templates have. Canva's good, but when it comes to t-shirt design, it's just lacking a little bit. It doesn't have that, I don't know, that swag, that flavor that Kittle has. Now, let's take a look at the interface, like how you actually move things around and like manipulate the graphics. This one I was unable to uh, manipulate, so let me pull another one over. Here we go. Okay, I can change the font color and the font itself, nice. So uh, let's go through and take a look at some of these fonts. All right. Uh, you can also uh, stretch the font out or make it smaller, play with the font size. Here with some of these effects. Hollow, spice, outline, echo, glitch, neon, and background, which is kind of like your stroke around the font. Now let's go look at Kittle. Okay, so let's go through some of these templates. Uh, all right, let's grab this one with the bullies. You can see you can grab some text. Uh, you can play and add or take away the outline here. You can go over here to effects and look at these different things that you can do. You can add these lines. You can go right here and play with the angle. You can come down and play with the outline and the thickness. Uh, you can make it solid again. All right, let's add a drop shadow. You can play with the drop shadow. You can change the color and actually teardrop the color. Get rid of the outline. 
you can go in and change that text if you don't want what's in the template. So see, you can go and you could you can change the font, right? Or you can bring it right back to what you have. And look how you can manipulate this font. Look, look, you can bring it back straight. You can play with it. You can manipulate it, switch it around, or you can just bring it right back to a circle. Let's add a whole nother bullies text right here. We can add that again. And once again, you can manipulate it. You can put it on a curve. You see all these down here? You can do so many different things. And once again, you can go over here and you can add a curve or you can do something else. You can go over here to effects. You can do some of the same things. But right now I want to do something a little different. I want to grab some of that color from the dog's head over here. And now let's add some of those effects. Oh my God, look at what you can do. Let's add some color up here. Wow, look at that. Guys, the possibilities are endless. But the biggest difference is community. Check this out. When you choose a template, see, you can go right up here and you're going to see a name. This one is Harbor Studio, right? And you can go look at their work. And you can also go over here and you can find follow them right look at all these awesome graphics look at this check out this one now let's go over here this one is by yoga perdana now look at their work awesome now this is the one that we were just working on and this one is randy maurice and you can go check out all this artwork and follow them so guys an actual community of graphic designers Okay, guys, you know what everything, there's some damage, right? Let's get into the price. Okay, you have Canva Free, which is limited. You have Canva Pro, which is what a, a lot of people use in the Canva for Teams, right? It's $14.99 a month. I believe you can also get it for the year, and it's $119. Now, let's go to Kittle, right? They have a free one, but that's limited, this um, low resolution. The 10 bucks a month is awesome, right? It's an awesome. They also have one for $24 a month. And of course, right, you can get it by the year, which is about $120 a month. So, so month to month is cheaper. And in terms of buying it for the year, it's like virtually the same price. Okay, guys. So my overview is this. Canva is a phenomenal service. There, there's nothing can be taken away from it, right? It does so many different things and it does a lot of things very, very well. However, in terms of t-shirt designs, um, Kittle just kind of blows them away. It just in terms of, first of all, the amount of templates that you have, right? the quality of the artwork, the community of artists, right? The ability to manipulate fonts and change and warp things around. Um, it is just, you know, Canva has a lot of catching up to do uh, in terms of that, right? So guys, um, hey, if you're using Canva, maybe you should go check out Kittle and you guys who are already Kittle, you know the deal. All right, so there's gonna be a link for Kittle right here and down in the description box and pinned in the comments, so check them out. But anyway, guys, I fooled around with y'all long enough. I'm gonna put some butter on my shoes and slide on out the door. God bless, and I'ma see ya when I see ya. Peace. T-shirt help, brusque.